Okay, here we go with part four. I plan on making two new screens for this. Let's see if we have enough time. First, there's a couple things I want to fix on old screens. Like on this one, I want to change the armos color so it looks a little better. Here, I realize that these rocks should be like this. That's all I really need to change, though. And also, something I had pointed out to me is that there's an option here called Show Misaligns. It'll make these arrows appear whenever there's part of the screen is that uh, doesn't match up with a adjacent screen. Like, say, if I want to put this tree here, here it'll say that right there, uh-oh, there's a problem. So then you can get rid of that. I find it kind of annoying, so I'm not going to use it, but you can use it if you like. Alright, now for this screen, I'm going to open it up a little bit. Well, first we've got to add some rocks down here. Uh, let's see, just open it up. This is going to be a crossroad, sort of. It's going to go in some different directions. And I want, down here, I want this to be a mountain wall. So, let's draw it like that. Okay, that's all that really needs to be done here. Uh, I mean, as, as far as drawing goes. Uh, you could add a little bit more stuff if you wanted, but this is fine for me. So... What I want to do is make a shortcut that goes back to the start room, because if you have to go through that maze every time you want to play through the game, it's going to be kind of annoying, so let's make a little shortcut. We'll do this by making some walkthrough walls. You remember, press W to see if it's walkable. We'll make a hidden path down here. Except that kind of stands out. We want to make it blend in. So to do that, we'll need to make a new combo, since there isn't a top rock combo that's walkable, at least not to my knowledge. So let's scroll down and find an empty space. These red square ones are empty. And here's how you make a new combo. Right-click it. Here's all the options you have with it. C set 2, A frames, A speed, I'll explain it later. These are the different types, we just want to have a blank one. Next, that's if you want to uh, do combo cycling, which is pretty complicated. Then. Let's click this picture to bring up the tile sheet. Pick the tile that you want, so that would be this one. Press enter. Then here you have the pink. We want it to be walkable, so it'll have no pink. Blue is if you want to have a second C set on the same tile. We're not going to do that. So now we have the new tile, and let's place it on there. And it blends in perfectly. So scroll all the way back up. Now, we want to have the player know that there's a secret there. So, for uh, let's put an item there to show that you can walk over there. So, hit page down to go down here. Then, click the rupee picture to place an item, and click it on the wall. So, now the item will appear, appear there. But how do you set the item? You go to data, and then item, and you pick the item that you want. Let's put on just uh, five rupees. But let's make the rupees a little bit harder to get. So let's add some enemies. I'm going to add some red moblins. Copy. Have three of those. And two red octoroks. It shouldn't be too hard. So now the enemies will appear. But as it's set now, the rupees will still appear there on the bottom of the screen, ev uh, even when you first enter. We want to have them appear after you kill all the enemies. You do that with a screen flag. So go to screen data, and then check off enemies item. So now that should all work properly. If you want to have Link hold up the rupees, that's also a screen flag for hold up item right here. But we don't want that. That's mostly for major items. Okay, now let's make another screen below it. Got to remember to. Um, I guess I will use that option now, just for simplicity. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, that's good. Then this one should be a walkthrough. Then I'll turn that off again. 
Uh, let's close the whole thing off for now and fill the rest in with ground. Let's do that by using color set fix instead of just filling it. You can do that. Okay, now you can enter here. Let's add a pond. For now, this pond isn't going to do anything, but later on we'll be revisiting this screen. Okay, so how do we... You can fill in this middle section by right-clicking and do a fill type. Do a fill four-way. Or maybe not. Uh, how do you do that? It's not working. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. Fill types are kind of weird. I don't know why it wasn't working. Maybe now? No? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. And now we want to have a shortcut that goes back to the other side. So, let's draw in a little path here that leads out. But put a wall there still. And make it possible to go through there. Now, here's what we're going to do for this part. We're going to use a trigger. Trigger is a new type of combo, so we'll have to make a new one for it. Let's see if there's any that look good. Um, actually, let's just make a new tile. So to do that, go into Quest, Graphics, Tiles, and here's the tile sheet. Find an empty spot. There's plenty of empty spots, but uh, let's see where I can find a decent place. I'll do it here. Let's fill this in. The, the sword is for drawing individual pixels. The blue wand is to fill in areas, and the red wand is to change any of a particular color to another color. But anyway, let's make it all the ground. Change C sets because I want to have some red. And let's put on a little button. Make it a little bigger. Okay, so now I have the button. Or maybe it should be a little wider. Okay, there's our button. Now, make a new combo, as you did earlier. Find the button we made. It's the wrong C set, but that's okay. Uh, it should be unlockable. And make it a trigger perm. There's two kinds of triggers, trigger temp and trigger perm. Obviously standing for temporary and permanent. This one we want to be permanent. Change C sets and put the button there. So now when you stand on that button, it should activate all secrets on the screen. Currently there aren't any secrets set. So let's go to a flag. We want to use flag 16 for this. That is one of the call only flags. And we'll put it there. And you have to remember how to set secret combos, so go to data, secret combos, 16, find the right C set, and it should just be a normal ground tile, but let's make it this sandy stuff to show that there was something there before. So now, the 16 should turn to that. But there's one last problem here, and that is, I explained earlier that when you activate one secret on a screen, it'll activate all of them. So currently, if you push that block, it'll also make that wall disappear. So we have to get rid of the block. So get rid of the flag by putting on a flag zero, and then draw over it with normal ground. Save. And test it. I have just enough time to do that. It's going to be kind of a race here, but I should be able to fit it in. Okay, there's the button. You can't get to it, though. Okay, should remember the path here is left up, left right. Okay, now we're here. Gotta kill all the enemies. The rupees appear. Go down, get the rupees. Go through. 
hit the button, and the wall disappears. It all worked perfectly. So let's save it so we don't have to do that next time. And that is it for now.